What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video and today we have a Thanksgiving special. Just doing a quick update on both the tanks. Just want to get a video out there, just to give a quick update, let you guys know what's happening before I head over to my family's place for Thanksgiving. Uh, getting ready to eat the food, all the desserts, sides, all the main entrees, but yeah, let's get started. So, we have the Frag 55.2 frag tank uh, by Waterbox. As you can see, we have the Delua uh, Blaze lights with the Vitaminis on top, Vitamin E strip. We also have the UNS freshwater tank, as you can see, thriving with my little beta in there. Uh, the plants are doing really well up there. Um, but yeah, let's get started into the saltwater tank. As you can see, we have all of our corals doing well. Everything's looking real good. Gold torch on top, got the rose bubble tip against the green bubble tip up there. Um, SPS, got the Xenias taking over the wall and the floor and pretty much most of the rock. As you can see, this bubble tip is getting smothered by the, the Xenias, which is fine. It's it's all right, it'll, it'll, it'll figure itself out. But otherwise, tank is doing really well, torches look good. Uh, I wish the polyps were extended a bit more, but not sure what's happening with that. Uh, I probably have to do like a little parameter check, but everything as far as alkalinity, magnesium, calcium goes, those are all in check. Um, for those wondering what my parameters are for this tank, um, I believe alkalinity sits at around like a 9.510. Um, magnesium is over 1500 and calcium, I believe, is about 450. So yeah, I like to run things a little bit higher than usual. Um, but the tank's been loving it so far with those parameters. As you can see, we have the Biota yellow tang. People are saying the yellow, their yellow tangs don't yellow up. Well, guess mine has. Uh, just remember when you get them uh, from Biota, they're juveniles. So they'll have a little bit more pale kind of uh, complexity to them. But otherwise, once they start growing out, uh, they just turn yellow. So no worries on that. Got the Mandarin there doing really well, uh, thanks to Algae Barn and their pods. If you're trying to get stuff from Algae Barn, make sure you use my code ReeferNYC. You get 15% off of their site. Um, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but if you guys are in New York and want some Xenias or anything like that, hit me up. We'll make some deals, maybe give some free Xenias away. I'm um, trying to sell these Alvapores and Ghanis on the bottom just to get back to my minimalistic kind of... Um, uh, aquascape, which is really hard to do, especially when you're a reefer. You just keep buying and buying and buying. But otherwise, yeah, that's it for this tank. Let's check the bottom real quick. Um, skimmer was recently cleaned. Uh, now it's back to being dirty again. This is the Great White Skimmer. Um, got the stickers. Got the CJ pump right there. As you can see, six. I believe that's the 6.0 um, controllable pump in the back with the controller. Uh, still running GHL um, on this tank, no problems, no issues, pretty much set it and forget it. Um, really happy with them, so maybe we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, tank's doing well. Flipper float right here, flipper edge, this is the special edition one with the little hippo tang art in the back of it. A little Asternia starfish trying to escape, which is fine by me, but um, oh, there's a little pleco, pleco dude there um but yeah that is the water box frag 55.2 we will swing over to the water box 105.4 frag tank which is i believe a 48 24 16 um pretty much like triple what i've had behind me or double behind me um, but yeah this tank's doing well did a water change um uh, last week Trying to suck up some of the sand. I should probably do another one because I'm trying to figure out this green algae on the sand. But I think it's actually coming from the sun. From the morning and afternoon, I see that sun rays hit the sand right at this spot. So I feel like I need to do something about that. Maybe block it out. But otherwise, I just have to keep keep up with my water changes. I do water changes to this tank once. I try to do once a month, but honestly, it's probably once every two months. Um, so I'm trying to step it up just a little bit more um, just to clear out the, the green algae on the sand. 
Otherwise, everything else is doing fine. I dose this tank all for reef, um, what you call it, chemicals, um, the all the all in one kind of thing. So basically, doses for alkalinity and magnesium, calcium follow through after that. Um, for this tank, it's running at a, I want to say, an 8.8 .8 or 8.9. 450 and 1500 as well. Um, I probably want to boost it up just a smidge just to see what happens, but otherwise everything's looking pretty good. SPS are growing out. Um, LPS are growing out as well. Everything looks really full. Time right now is about one o'clock. So this is midday. Everything's pretty much open. Running, currently running the Nero 5s on both sides. One over there and one over there. Maybe we'll change it up but otherwise everything's looking really happy. Corals are growing too much, too fast, honestly. The bird's nest is growing out of control. The red digitata bubble gum um, is growing out of control as well. I mean, that's a good thing if you wanna keep SPS. Like I said, if you're in New York, you wanna get some SPS frags, basic SPS frags, easy beginner ones, hit me up, we'll make a deal. I sell frags like pretty much every week, uh, really cheap as well. So I definitely want to clear out the sand, go back to the minimalistic look. But like I said, always hard when you're a reefer and just want to pack your tank with stuff. Um, we've got the Flipper Deep Sea Viewer, Flipper Edge as well. This is the basic uh, one with no art on it. If you go to FlipperCleaner.com, I believe, and use my code ReeferNYC, you get free shipping plus um, a little gift from Flipper. So definitely check them out. Geez, sometimes I see like marks on my on my glass and think of scratches. Thank God that just came off right away. Um, but yeah, tank is sort of getting overgrown, which is a good thing and a bad thing. But otherwise, I'm very happy with where it is right now. We've got the JI Reefer, JF46 Reefer Clowns. All seven doing really well. No issues, no problems. I'm trying to see. Let me get some food real quick. Let's see if they will eat this. This is not sponsored, but I like their food. Any of the Aquaforest food, I really like. They're soft pellets compared to the hard pellets that other manufacturers have. They're all squishy and everyone pretty much really likes it. But let's see, let's see what happens. There we go. So most of the Aquaforest food is like more of a gel rather than pellet. It's like a pellet gel, I would suppose. Um, so they're easier to eat, easier to break down, um, rather than the hard pellets that people usually feed. Um, so very happy with the aqua forest um, fish food. I believe you can get them at bulk resupply as well. Uh, we have the clams in there. There's a blue one. There's some gold ones on the bottom. We have the Kojiwada pink nephia from Unique Corals. Got my, what else do we have in here? Yeah, all the all the cores and in here are doing really well. People are asking me, what is that purple SPS? It's not an SPS, it's just a purple whip gorgonian that does not seem to be bothered by the SPS. So what I've been doing is like stacking SPS into this bird's nest, just because I have no more space. And they seem to be doing pretty well, no stings, no, no fighting. So that's always a good sign, um, but yeah. What else can we say? Got the frog spawns, gorgonians, all the pores over there. More corals in the back. Let's turn, so I'm currently using the Polyp Lab um, orange filter, as you can see here. This is what it looks like without the orange filter, pretty much all blued out, looking fine. Put the orange filter on. You can see like true, sort of true to life colors, a little bit more saturated with the orange filter, but otherwise you get the idea of the growth. My Zoa garden has been spreading. They're all clinging to the wall, clinging to the rocks over there. Two anemones in there that I'm trying to get out, but totally hard to get out because they've dug their foot into a little crevice. Can't do much about that. Got this little Duncan colony up top. Um, but otherwise, the fish are doing well. No issues. Uh, I want to get a red starfish and also a new RAS, but I mean, we'll figure out and see what happens with that. Hopefully there's some like Black Friday deals. 
at my local fish store. Uh, oh, and we also have my new auto top of reservoir. This is a 15 gallon uh, innovative marine tank reservoir. I don't think I posted the video yet, so I'll probably post this first, then I'll show you a video of how I organized the bottom. But it was pretty, pretty simple, it took a couple hours, but otherwise pretty straightforward. Very happy with this conversion. Um, but yeah, that's it guys, gonna wrap it up. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the love and support as always. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.